Welcome to part two of our Saxony tutorial. In the first part, Joy Division and I talked about general strategies for playing the faction Saxony. In this second part, we talk about playing Saxony with each individual player mat, how to open with the player mats, and what the strengths and weaknesses of each are. If you missed part one, there's a link down in the description and you can go ahead and check that out. If not, please let it roll and I hope you enjoy. All right, can we, can we transition into talking about some of the mats and some openings? Maybe a first, yes. uh, first five or six moves and what you think about with each one. So let's go ahead and just do this in, in order of uh, the board, boards appear. So let's start with, um, let's start with Patriotic here. Sure. So Patriotic is probably the best board to get when you have two good objectives. It's incredibly nice to have this board when you only need one bottom row action star. It becomes a bit painful when you need to get two bottom row action stars. So this setup right now is very nice because I have population advantage and get rich, which actually is, is pretty good with Patriotic. You can get 20 coins, it's definitely possible. Um, but let's say it was even easier than that. Let's say I had foundations and pop advantage. Um, this is going to be a dream come true for me because all I have to do is get my max out and get my worker star, and I'm going to have a lot of power and a lot of mobility. So combats will not be a problem for me. Uh, so the patriotic board requires some upgrades here. If we look at the cost for a single mech, it's four metal. Now that's not realistic. You're going to have to upgrade a few times to use that. So the way I like to open is by trading for two oil. So if I do this, trade for two oil, I then can move. And I move a character one space and my worker like this. Now, usually you don't want to move until you have speed, but I think it's worth it with Patriotic because the alternative is quite slow. So the alternative to, to not moving would be you just do a produce action, let's say. And that's fine. Like, this is valid. If you produce one metal and, and one oil, um, you're then going to have to trade and then maybe produce again before you bolster. That's fine. But I'm not interested in paying four metal for a single mech at any point in time. So what I will do is trade, move, and then produce. And then so we, it's not so bad. The, uh, upgrade as the bottom row action. Yes, you do. Um, and the upgrade's gonna be um, the move action. And you have to do the move action first because you're gonna move three units next turn. So you produce, you have two more oil again, and then your move looks like this. And this is gonna be a common pattern with any Saxony board, is you wanna get to this setup here. Um, so you have a village encounter, and then you have workers on the metal and on the village because this helps you get the most important stars in your game, the mech star and the worker star. And I keep saying you need the worker star, and the reason is like every worker is two points if you put them on a territory, right? And you want to do that no matter what combo you have. So the worker star is almost mandatory, and that's gonna be important for you to remember when you think about potentially doing certain objectives in the game. And this uh, second Sometimes it's not worth it after you move is usually going to be bolster and deploy again, right? Yeah. Now, the second upgrade is nice because you get to do the encounter first, and then you do the upgrade afterwards. So based on what you receive, maybe you don't do bolster to, to deploy, but more often than not, that's what you're going to pick. So an example of where you're, you might upgrade something else, let's say you found um, some food, but it was only two food. Is it worth it to get that early enlist? by doing this. Often, yes, it is worth it. So maybe you upgrade Enlist to make use of that encounter. Or let's say you got an even better encounter. You got um, an upgrade in two resources. Now you get to do both of those things. So this is like the dream come true, is um, on your second move of the game, your board looks something like this. So. Now we have a situation where you're going to produce and deploy and produce and deploy. Now, it's not going to feel very fast because you're not moving, but you are getting power. And with Saxony, 
being able to bolster is kind of a luxury that you don't often have. Um, the patriotic board is not as fast as the others, but it, it, it really raises the bar on combat costs for your opponents. So if you bolster twice, you have some mechs now. You've got five to seven power on your first fight. Like that's very different than having one power on your first fight, which is often the scenario for other boards. And with the enlist um, bonus, if I do get that enlist, I almost always yeah. take cards. And I think cards are better than power, especially with a board like Patriotic, where you're going to get quite a bit of power. Going from four cards to six cards is just a huge boost and way better than power in almost all situations, I would say. Mm. But be careful there. It's almost always better to take power on the other combos, right? So if you have three power versus one, that's huge in terms of an early fight. But if you're going to have more than seven, no matter what, yes, cards are definitely the right choice. It's just rare to be bolstering a lot. So, And then with uh, this combo, we can trade after we've produced. We could trade for two metal. We can bolster and drop a mech, mm -hmm. like a speed mech, uh, produce again. This puts us at five total workers. Now we have enough yep. metal to bolster again and place underpass. And suddenly we're mm -hmm. in that position with, you know, not too many turns that you mentioned where we can move a mech and three workers to this village. A mech yep. and two workers to this mountain over here. Yeah, nicely done. And the character over here. So that's, yeah, so that's uh, your ideal opening as patriotic. Mm -hmm. um, encounters can help you, but really you don't need anything. If you find nothing, that's fine. Because what you just did is totally viable with uh, a blank encounter, if such were to exist. Yeah. Let's change the state to... Uh board to um i'm gonna put the engineering upgrade. yeah Go okay. engineering cool and let's talk about what your what your opening would be and what you're trying to get to because in the last example we were kind of rushing out to try to get to uh that s situation where you're on the tunnels and ready to produce eight workers get metal with the patriotic board be, you're going to fall two metal short with that opening so you'll end up having to trade for one two metal or hopefully mm -hmm. get it off in one of the two encounters oh right and so metal, a metal encounter on that patriotic board speeds those mechs way up yeah and so does um like getting a worker is not terrible either so like cutting down the number of producers you're going to do is actually totally fine but anyway on to engineering. Um, I actually changed the way I approach this recently, so that's kind of good timing. But it's, it's a little complicated to um, play this combo because you'll notice you don't have very many coins in most games. And you sometimes run out of coins, which is never a good feeling. But um, you just have to do that to play quickly. And unfortunately, like doing the, the bolster build and produce upgrade line is, is very underwhelming compared to what your opponents are probably going to do. So with engineering, that's going to look like a lot of trades. And the way to start is to get a single upgrade. So if you trade for two oil and then you produce, you have the three that you need for that first upgrade. Um, now you have you still have two workers and you have one metal. So where do you think the upgrade goes? I would put it on probably move and then deploy because now I can tr I've can. i spent the three oil. Mm -hmm. I can trade two metal. And since I've upgraded it, I trade into this first mech. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really matter where I put it. Either space is right, so fine. And I'm going to take the speed mech specifically yeah. because that's going to allow me to move to this encounter. Exactly. So yes, there are other openings available, but this, in my opinion, is the best, um, the best first few turns because you need mechs and you need workers, and this is how you get there quickly. And tell me what um, you think about this. I think the coin enlist is better with engineering than it is with a lot of boards. 
Because like you said, you can actually run out of coins. And at least if you take that coin in list, you're, uh, you're net neutral every time you trade for a mech. Because yeah. now you're going to produce, um, trade for two metal, and that three metal is going to go back in the pile to get your underpass mech. Yeah, so let's pause right here. Because I would definitely put it on the village, right? Yeah, and yeah. The, the thing I would say here, right? Engineering has moved to enlist. That's very good if it happens to come up. So if you found food on your move action, you get to spend it right away. Um, what enlist do you take? Now, with the hand I have here, I have two fives out of the six total fives. Right? That's incredibly good. I would take the coin bonus for sure. Um, but if I had terrible cards, I might take the card one because I know I'm going to enlist again. Uh, back to this, though. When you have your underpass mech and your speed mech, now it becomes a question of do I move or do I stay? Mm -hmm. And in my opinion, you usually want to stay to get more workers, but you should always look at the board and see what your opponents have just done, especially if they just moved. Like if you're so about to use this village to Tagawa, you might go ahead and take it. Or on a flip side of that, especially if you have the hand that I have, right? Some fives. Tagawa's about to move, and they're considering moving forward. Just wait and produce. Make some workers. Because as soon as they step on that, you want to be able to answer them and bring a combat if you have good resources, like good cards. Um, that may seem scary, but sometimes it's best to wait and watch, like, force your opponent to either, like, not move on purpose or take a position that's dangerous. That could be good, too. So staying, if you chose to stay, you'd probably produce again and then get mm -hmm. this metal to either set up another mech, like Disarm or Riverwalk, or get to five workers so that if you do move to this spot, you can put three on the village and two on the mountain. Whereas if you'd gone ahead and move, you would only have two on the village and one on the mountain, and your next produce would not net you as much metal. And even if you overproduce metal with the engineering board, it's okay because trade is over deploy, which means you can trade for something else like food if you don't need yeah. the metal. Right. So this is a, typically what I open with is five before I leave the base. Now, sometimes I will leave with three if it's a very good reason. Like the combat star would be a great reason. Um, but with five, I like to do this actually. So I bring three of these workers. Well, you bring them all at first to the metal, and then I'm going to actually bring three of them to the food, or I'm sorry, two of them to the food. Hmm. Then I'm going to bring, um, the other three and my metal over to the oil. Hmm. And then I'm going to put my character wherever it needs to be to, to threaten the most. So sometimes that means the food, sometimes that means the oil, but it's going to be on one of the tunnels. In rare scenarios, I can put it on a third tunnel by itself, but typically I don't want my character to go home before I've been to the factory. So I'm going to keep it safe. So here um, it might now, be a good spot depending because you're not going to spin the food immediately while you will spin the oil immediately. That's one well, consideration. If you're thinking you might get attacked, you're probably only going to get attacked if your opponent can spend the resource. So does your opponent have move to enlist? Probably not. If they did, absolutely, I'm going to go here. right? If they don't, maybe I'm not going to go there because I would like to invite them to try to take the food. Mm -hmm. And I see uh, where you're going with this. Produce yeah. is going to give you two food. Mm -hmm. And then three oil is going to go... Um, Immediately to the upgrade. Yeah. And then back into the upgrade. And you're going to upgrade enlist and what? Maybe bolster? I choose produce. I don't always need it, but sometimes it makes a huge difference because you don't know what you're going to find either from your opponents producing resources and you taking them or encounters that you get or maybe even a factory card that you grab. Sometimes being able to produce on a third tile will get you stars faster. And what do you do next turn? Go to the factory and then get these workers on the village? 
right? So again, always evaluate what did my opponents just do? What are they going to do? Sometimes it's better to not go to the factory. And why might that be? Uh, maybe you can set their game back a lot by knocking them off of their production tiles. Like if they just moved a bunch of workers somewhere that's within your reach, like a tunnel, um, it's probably better to win that fight. And that could mean bringing multiple units over there. Now, let's assume everyone's pretty scared. You're out here kind of fast. Um, no one's no one's like pushing into positions that you could interact with them. It's best to do the factory with your character. You want to set up for um, eight workers like you just did. And then it's kind of up to you. Are you going to go for metal or are you going to stay on food? Mm -hmm. I, th I tend to want to stay on food based on like what my opponents are doing. So if they're bolstering a lot, if they're being defensive, I'm going to need some enlists to you know, keep up with them from a score standpoint. If they're playing aggressive and they're trading a lot, yes, I'm just going to go right for the metal because I can afford to do those inefficient coin actions like trade and deploy. So that would be my engineering opening. But again, with any Saxony opening, you can only really talk about the first five or six turns before it's going to be, um, it depends, wanna, <laughs> is the answer to every question. I want to show a, a, a Saxony factory rush with engineering really quickly. Yeah, go for so it. So you, you trade for two oil. You produce, which allows you, of course, to turn these three oil in for an upgrade immediately. You do what we, uh, we did before, and you take the move upgrade to deploy. Then you trade, get yourself to three metal, and instead of going with the speed mech, you actually go with the uh, with the underpass mech, and you put it here. Gary. Yeah. And then your next turn, because you have three movements, you move the worker here, move the underpass mech to here, and you move the character to here. Now, a production gives you another worker. You're already out on the board threatening everybody. Mm -hmm. And a metal here. Another trade gives you, of course, two metal. And suddenly, you can get another mech. Um, they were not too worried about our home base, and we want to double up. Mm -hmm. And we take speed. We can put it here. We're here. We're wanting to get out on the village. And now, move. Yeah. If we wanted to, if we want to keep this here to threaten Polani or Albion, could have put a second mech here, move it to here, and do what we talked about and go there as the third move. And suddenly, we're in a position to threaten Polania. We're in a position to threaten Albion. And now we have a factory card. And if we get something like the popularity for a mech, suddenly we've got two mechs out on the board. We can hit, we can drop Riverwalk. We can hit Nordic. We can hit Polania. We can hit Crimea. And we have this early board presence. So, uh, and then we can continue to produce, drop a metal, um, put a mech on this village, which is going to allow more spread. Um, that's the an engineering factory rush that I uh, I saw recently, and I I thought it was pretty good. I wanted to share that before we move on. To if I may, I'd like to also add one that I think is is very useful. And again, the only reason to do these things is if you're convinced, like getting the first pick at the factory is is really important to my win condition. If that's if that's your decision before the game uh, gets going, then maybe it is best to do turn one move. Turn two, produce. Turn three, mech. Turn five, mech. Now, on turn six here, you get to go to the factory. And the, the way that works, just to slow it down a little bit, is I have two mechs in my character all on one space, but with only two move actions, right? I don't have an upgrade. I can go tunnel to here, and then I can go here to there. So if, if the difference between you winning, like having a chance to win, versus probably not winning the game is a turn six factory versus a turn seven or a turn nine. Absolutely. Maybe that's like your opening gambit, but more often than not, it's going to be better to go for that mixed economy where you have more workers and, you know, some enlists and upgrade or two. If a, but yes, let's, 
if a strong right. Polonia is on the board, that could be another reason to rush the factory because um, you might do more damage to their ability to win the game um, than anything else by having a first pick at the factory and denying them that amazing card that they want. Yeah, Polonia is not so intimidating if they're scared to move anywhere. <laughs> like, usually they want to be running around the place, but if they're afraid you're going to come get them because you got that early factory, uh, that's a huge impact on the game. All right, let's do uh, let's do industrial real quick. Um, I think I'll go through two quick um, openings I know with industrial and that I use, and then if you've got something else, we'll throw that out as well. Um, cool. The two that I see the most. Um, let me grab a couple workers here. Two that I see the most with industrial is uh, turn three encounter, right? You trade for two yep. metal, produce a metal and an oil, which allows you to place the speed mech on either of these spots. It doesn't really matter. You um, pay your metal, place the mech down, um, turn three, move it on the village and go to this encounter. You're looking for metal probably or food or even oil would be nice um, because oil would allow you to bolster into an upgrade and take that all important move upgrade maybe and make your deploy cheaper. Um, at this point, you're looking for, hopefully you get, if you get metal, that's gonna speed up your mech production because you don't have to trade for metal. If you don't, you may have to trade for metal um, to get your next mech. And then once you get to those five workers and two mechs, you can move out onto these spots as we talked about. That's a uh, one initial Saxony that I'd say I'm, I often like to run. The other one mm -hmm. is a little bit slower, and that is you start with a produce. You trade for your oil. You bolster and turn that oil in for a upgraded move and deploy. Then another production gives you an oil and a second metal, and since you've upgraded your deploy, you can turn that yep. two metal in for that mech. And mm -hmm. it's a little bit slower, but the benefit is now you have an upgraded move action which is really key, I don't think we've talked about, but really powerful with Saxony since it tends to have more cards than power, especially on the mm -hmm. industrial board. And then you kind of go and do the same thing and you, it's slower to get to the encounter, but you do make up a turn because if you look at it, one trade for two metal is now going to bridge the extra metal you need for two different produces into mechs. So you're gonna yeah. make up a little bit of the speed doing that. Um, is there another opening you would highlight with the industrial board? Yeah, one that I think you might like um, for that reason is is pretty similar, but I just want to highlight that what you pick here is typically related to what turn you need to be out on the board by, and that can look like what turn do I want this encounter, or conversely, like what turn do I need um, that or maybe it's what turn do I need to be able to hit a tunnel by? So depending on the answer to that, one of these variations is going to be ideal for you, but one that I really enjoy is turn one produce. So if you do turn one produce, and then you do turn two trade, but you trade like this, I'd encourage you to try this one because it's actually, it's really smooth mm -hmm. what happens next here. You, you produce a mech mm -hmm. on... Um, Let's see, it was produce, trade, produce, right? You produce a mech on turn three. So now you have speed, and you're going to take your uh, encounter and get in this, like, you know, holy trinity set up here for Saxony. You, you want to take your encounter, but you already have the oil you need. You have three. And the reason this works out nice is you, you don't end up carrying around extra resources, mm -hmm. right? So you... You're going to spend all three of these no matter what you find. And the most typical progression from here, for me, is produce, bolster, produce. Now, why do I do it like that? 
Okay. You don't need the mech upgrade until you're ready to use it. So right. if you produce, you have one. Then you can bolster, Turn that away get away. that. Yeah, and then the deploy cost is now two. So on your produced of five workers, you now have two mechs and your upgraded move. And that's like the absolute ideal scenario. Is it possible you could get to the same exact scenario by just taking your chance with the factory or the encounter? Yes. But I really, really like this, especially if I have good objectives, because I don't need to gamble here. I can take my time and guarantee. <laughs> Sorry, I had shocked by the sound for a second. Um, you okay there? Yeah, I tried to mute that. I hope I did. <laughs> well, maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, so you don't need to take risks there. You can just guarantee you'll get the upgrade like this. And I really, that's this actually a, nice... a new one for me. I really like that. Mm. Yeah, and um, again, like you got to have that move upgrade at some point. It's just very, very painful to play without it. Um, if you have the luxury of taking that extra turn, this is one of my favorites to, to open with. Yeah. Oh, last point. Do not pass on the building with industrial. Please take the mine if you have the option to take it. And the reason you would do that is a mine on this village here is worth so much more than it is for other factions. Because now you don't need underpass for mech 2. You can take Riverwalk and look at the board, right? You can go inside of people's bases on your second move. All right? So that's insane. Um, people often don't don't see the plays that are available with a mine, um, and that's usually not a good option for other factions. But it's great for Sax Industrial specifically. And that's because move is over build. So either yeah. getting a building off of coin or popularity will give us a building, or if we get resources of our choice or wood specifically, we can build because we've just moved. Yep. Okay, great. Let's go to the next map. Um, on state number five, agricultural. Um, Ooh. This one's kind of painful. <laughs> but yeah, it's not great. What I would say, I'm trying to remember that there's a factory rush agricultural um, that I'm actually trying to remember right now that I know gets to the factory in yeah. seven turns, I think. Um, so there's, it's actually the same as the engineering one, um, um, if you want to. I don't like it, but it's, it works. So it's like a turn one move like this um, is the fastest way, I think. Because let's, let's just do it real quick. If it's move, produce, trade, produce, trade, now you have your, your two mechs that you need to get to the factory. Um, so yeah, that's definitely an option. I actually really like this one. Um, first, I just want to outline like what's the best possible scenario you could do with agricultural. And the answer to that is to not trade for mechs, right? You don't want to do this. If we zoom in on this board here, it's awful. You have four cost over trade um, for no bonus. Like, you don't get a single coin for doing this, and it's a trade action. So you have to spend a coin to do it. So if I can avoid trading for a mech, I'm going to. And that looks like taking mech encounter options. Like if I have the opportunity to spend pop for a mech, that's really, really good. Um, and also, if there's a factory card for me that has a mech option on it, I am going to take it. That is, that is one of the best things you can hope for with this combo. Um, it's just really, really painful to trade all four times. Now, with agricultural, the thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to double upgrade here. I think double upgrade is, is pretty bad, especially if you put both upgrades on deploy. Because again, I don't even want to do this action if I can avoid it. It's usually not worth it to upgrade it twice. You would much rather upgrade something else, like um, bolster to enlist, if you have the luxury of doing that. So getting a single upgrade is nice. And moving to the to metal on turn one, or not turn one, but on your first move is actually fine. The alternative, of course, is to um, trade for two oil. Then you move like this, just like patriotic. 
and then you produce and you, then you move again. So you have encounter and your standard setup here. This is good if you aren't going to win the factory race anyway. Um, so it's better to take like resources through the encounter. Really, and what really I mean by joy, that, I, uh, yeah. Uh, chat let me know that the last time I had to cough, I muted myself and didn't unmute myself. So oh, okay. uh, they missed a it. little bit of the factory rush strategy. So I'm just going to go, I'm not going to move all the pieces, but I'm going to go over it really quickly. Yeah, go for it. Was, uh, trade two oil, move out, upgrade, move, and deploy. Produce yep. the three workers, which gives you metal. Trade into the speed mech. Mm-hmm. Produce again, which gives you the five workers. Trade for the underpass mech. Now yep. you have speed, underpass. And I apologize, guys, for having to do this again. Five workers. And as we kind of showed before, you take them like this with your three different moves. You drop the character on the factory, and a produce gives you eight workers and enough metal trade for your last two mechs so that was that was the strategy and i apologize for being on mute for it um that's, that's all good yeah so it's similar but you um you're going to go for that encounter instead and again the reason is maybe the factory the early factory isn't important or it's not viable so what are examples of where like that's your scenario well agricultural goes last i mean it doesn't go first let's just say so you're probably looking at um, a fast opponent. Like if you find yourself against Nordic Industrial, Polani Industrial, some of the other fast combos there, they're going to get to the factory first no matter what you do. And maybe you don't have good cards. So why don't we just take our chances with a slower opening that maybe gets us an early enlist? And, and what did you do with this? What was yeah. your move sequence to get to this point again really quickly? So all it, all it is is a trade for oil, and then you move and then you produce, and then you move again. So your second move looks like that with two upgrades now. And again, the what two upgrades, oh, yes. yeah. So two upgrades are one for deploy and one for enlist. You do not want to do both of them on deploy. Um, we talked about this earlier, but trading for a mech is really bad with uh, this board. So try to avoid doing that. Definitely don't spend both of your upgrades, especially because you might only get two upgrades this entire game. And that, that's um, because we can only one upgrade on deploy, because we can produce to three workers, trade for yeah. one of those mechs, produce to five workers, trade for the second mech, and then move out. Yeah. Right. Right. All right. Are we ready to move on to the next one? Yes. All right. Got yeah, mechanical. Hate this one. <laughs> yeah, it's my least favorite one. Um, this, I even like agricultural more. What I usually do. Um, which I think is pretty standard, is you produce, you trade for, trade is over upgrade, you trade for two oil, immediately turn it in, mm -hmm. and you're going to get two upgrades here. So the first one you're going to get, so this gives you a little extra power, is going to be booster into deploy, you produce again, mm -hmm. and then you bolster, turn, whoop, turn these two metal in for a mech, and now you've got a speed mech, I assume, is the one you, you pulled up there. Yeah, you got speed and you've got uh, your second upgraded resource that you need. So now you move to the encounter. Yeah. And hopefully you get a upgrade off this encounter and get to skip a step. But if you don't, trade for two oil again. Yeah. And turn them in for the second upgrade, which is going to be because you knew you were going to get two of them. Yeah. We move and bolster again. And then you can produce the three workers, trade for or bolster into another mech reduced to five workers and move out. And I think yeah. that's the one that most people use. Do uh, you have anything else you do with this board that you like? Not a particular I wouldn't say I like it, but it's, yeah, it's a little painful. Um, 
the only good thing is that like your met cost is three instead of four. So you you can get it down extremely cheap with just two upgrades. Um, unfortunately, like this is a combo where you're not really excited unless you're looking at some nice objectives because getting a second bottom row action star is often pretty difficult. There's just no easy setup you can do, easy opening you can do to guarantee that. Um, but it is very, very nice to find some wood on an encounter or a move action or to uh, come through an early enlist. Um, it is a trap, however, to stay at five workers and to do something like, like this. I think this is like tempting sometimes, but you really don't want to see yourself in a position with um, only five workers for most of the game. Yeah. And the reason I say that is it's just like the worker star is going to be more valuable than the amount of time it takes you to get an enlist star through producing. Enlist star so, takes forever with mechanical. I almost yeah. Like two players the only situation in which I would even consider it. Yeah. So I I almost always do what you showed, and that's really the only one I would advertise. But of course, you know, make the most of what you get, including your objectives, and go from there. All right. Uh, next map. Let's go with. Got here. Innovative. This is the best one, I think. Yeah, it's it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I do I, like I industrial. Like I like it better than industrial, but I mean, reasonable minds may disagree. Sure. Yeah, so why is this one so good, right? Um, if we look at it, it's got produced to deploy, and that's a dream come true. Right? You really, really want that um, in your map. And then instead of move to build, it's got move to enlist. Yes. So you can do a lot of really toxic things to other players uh, with the enlist action because yeah. you can now steal food and, and use it right in their face and get a power bonus or a card bonus. Like, it's, it's devastating. So move to enlist is, is very nice. Um, this one and industrial are definitely the best Saxony combos. Um, and for similar reasons, right? They've got great production actions. They've got great move actions. I've got three openings I want to show really quickly. Oh, cool. wow. Okay. Um, one looks just like the industrial opening, which is trade for two metal. Please. Get a speed mac. Turn three encounter. Nice. Um, and then basically, hopefully you get metal. But if you don't, trade. Um... Produce again. Yeah, produce again. And that gets you the three workers and two mechs. Um, you can produce again to get to five workers, and one metal here. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, as we talked about before, move out on the board. Okay. Yeah. That's the first one. The second one I've come to like even more. It's it's like the one where you get the upgrade where we talked about with industrial, but it's even better because trade is actually over upgrade. So mm -hmm. you get an you start with a produce, then you trade for two oil in turn two. Gives you that um, that move upgrade here, and it goes into deploy. Sure. And you produce again. Get the speed mac and now it's what um instead of turn three on the encounter it's turn four turn four yeah and you have an upgraded ploy and an upgraded move a trade is now going to bridge two different mech produces so two produces gets you to five workers and um three mechs if you want them and you're ready to move out on the board um, yeah you saved a trade which makes up for that um, turn you spent on the on the upgrade. Um, one more, and then I'll turn it over sure. to you. Um, is the factory rush, which works with industrial and works with this. It's just move. Trade metal, right? Um, uh -huh. Produce, and this can be really good for machine over muscle. 
love a good machine over muscle opening. Right. So you drop that first Mac. And you didn't have to move this worker at first. You could have traded for metal and then produced the oil. You wanted to not get to more workers, right? So sure. turn one, um, produce one of each. Turn two, move. Um, yeah. So basically, you can also just decline the workers if you have machine muscle. Trade for two metal again. Um, let's decline the workers since we have machine over muscle. Sure. Turn it in for the underpass Mac. And then in turn six, you're ready to do your, uh, your factory. Thanks. Um, so you can get to, just like with industrial, you can get to the factory in turn six. With, uh, I, think, I think you can have, if you want to delay it a turn, you could have, um, see we said yeah you can have five workers if you want them or you can turn them down for an oil by starting with a produce um either way you get to the factory in turn six and it gives you the option for machine over muscle so the, that's pretty much my saxony innovative catalog right there for open. right cool yeah so the the game is probably yours to lose if this is your scenario so congratulations you drew a great combination um, but it's really easy to misplay this. So what is your win condition? Um, usually with this board, it's going to be speed and early combats because, again, it's okay to fight people and lose in the very beginning of the game. It's not okay to do that late in the game, usually. So with Innovative, the most powerful scenario for you to be in is turn five combat. So how do you do that? You can trade, produce, so you have a mech, and now you move. And then based on what encounter you find, because this is turn three, right? You could potentially produce your second mech right now. It's never going to be guaranteed, but it's possible. So, so you three, trade, produce, three move. Three for a mech. Three pop for a mech, or the most, obviously the most impactful encounter you could find is pay to popularity, you receive an upgrade, and you receive two resources. So if you got the dream, right, best case scenario, what are you going to do with it? You're going to upgrade, deploy, and move probably, right. and you're going to take some resources so that on your second produce of the game, you get to deploy uh, your second mech, and now on your second move of the game, you can leave your base, okay. potentially fighting somebody. So um, what we do here, we traded for metal. Yeah, let me slow it down and uh, rewind a little uh, bit. Yeah, let's, let's just verbally go back over what we did real quick. Yeah, so again, this is best case scenario, right? Mm -hmm. So it's worth it to trade for metal and produce. So you have an oil and a worker, I mean an oil and a metal. Um, I'm sorry, trade for two metal and produce. So you have that first mech, and then you can move uh, like this. So this would be turn three. And a turn three encounter can be valuable because based on what you find, that means on your next move, which would be turn five, you could be out on the board. That's mm -hmm. super fast. Like consider, consider the potential of being able to fight somebody on the fifth turn. Like there's no way they have two mechs, right? So that's, that's like a really high upside. It could obviously backfire um, and give you nothing good. But that's like a common opening just because it's, it's almost always worth it. Now, turn three one counter, turn fight, turn, uh, turn five combat. Probably or another combat. encounter at the worst case, right? Like it's, it's very high upside. So you already kind of showed that one though. So I'll go over like one that I enjoy doing. Um, that's, that's a little more um, balanced, I guess, in its approach. And that is going to be... Um, it's really actually the same, except the upgrade was a little different. So what, what you would do is you, um, you produce your mech on turn two. So it's going to be a trade produce, just like the other one. But let's say you've got a blank encounter. You would produce, trade, produce. So that's the biggest difference here. And again, the reason for that is I'm going to produce one metal and one worker. And then 
on what would otherwise be an empty turn, I'm going to upgrade right here. So I'm going to trade. Now, let me let me rewind again, oh, just okay. to be very clear here. All right. So I got ahead of myself. It's all good. So turn one was trade for two metal. Turn two, you deployed by producing. Now on turn three, you moved over here, you brought your oil, and you decided to produce on turn four. And the reason I like to produce on turn four instead of trade again is now um, I can trade upgrade. Deploy will cost me two so that my next deploy gets me a five workers and it gets me my second mech, which is, again, that common setup we like to do with Saxony. Um, I don't think we've touched on this specifically, but a reason this is good is you, you want to go to eight workers and three mechs. Like, that's a very common setup. So the, the whole thing where like we do this and we go to these two spaces here, like this is a good scenario for you to be in because you have a very, very fast worker star. You now get your third mech, which is going to be disarm or river walk. And then you have your eight workers. Like, is it okay to be at three mechs and eight workers? Yes, because you don't really care about popularity at all. It's just something you're going to spend. So that means your final produce for your last mech, can also get you a ton of resources. Like I could go here um, and like stay on metal for, I don't know, let's just imagine the board state looks like this for various reasons. To do that, we've right, got to pick just... up a fact, we've got to pick up a power somewhere. So like from an encounter or factory call. Yeah, pretty common, but yeah, you would need a power somewhere. Now, um, this is great because, yeah, I'm going to get that fourth mech, but I'm also going to get um, really important resources for the end game. So, like, two enlists out of this one production is wonderful because mm -hmm. um, those are on my move action. So, so that's a reason why it's good to go to the 3-2 the split, even if you only have two mechs at a time. And, again, just timing that upgrade to give me that deploy is something I, I like to do with uh, Saxony. So... Pretty identical to industrial, but very effective. All right, great. We ready for the next map? Let's do it. We've lost a worker somewhere along the way. That's okay. <laughs> Back to work. All right. Looks like we're ready for the last map, which is militant. Um, I'm going to take this one if you don't mind. Yeah, the, the thing I would like to say before we start here is I hated this combo. I really thought it should be so powerful, so excellent, but I struggled to make it good. Um, until, that is, I talked to you about it, and you came up with something that was really effective. So, disclaimer, like this is all foam off, and this is pretty much the only thing I do when I get the militant board, and any variations on it, for me, happen probably after turn seven or so. So I think this is probably the only one we need to show unless you have multiple to show. No, this is, this is it. Um, and credit to Poser for show, showing me a way that you could get the enlist a little bit sooner. So it starts with a trade for two grain. Um, then it's uh, a move. Trade for a food and a metal. and you take an enlist. Um, probably coin, I like coin, you could do cards depending, but I'm gonna do coin, and it's important you have to take power because you're gonna run out of power to produce otherwise. So you take power, and now you're up to three, right? Then you produce again, and you can see you're up to, just traded, so we produced. Um, did I mess this up? I think we like didn't move stuff as we were saying it, but if you want to go back a few steps, that's fine. So you, you did the early move, right? Right. And then you got an enlist through trading. But I think you the trade know, also netted did, you a medal. I, I did the trade like too soon. So let's, let's, uh, let's back up. Okay. I apologize. All right. So. Did what I, I said before. Start with the trade for grain. Then you move. Then I did this wrong. You don't trade again. Produce. You're to one metal. Then you trade for a third grain and a metal. Turn in the grain. 
Oh, you already put the metal on there for me. Yep. Um, so it looks like this. And you take yeah. your enlist the way we just did and take the power to three. So if we pause right here. Down. Yeah. If we pause right here, I hope this is like really counterintuitive to a lot of people because this doesn't make any sense to me when I just look at it at first glance. Because like, what are we doing? We have all this extra stuff, but it works out so perfectly with the deploy cost. Um, you produce again to get yourself to three metal and with our work, five workers. Here. Yep. And then this is where it gets really interesting. And that is for your movement action, move. Don't have an upgraded move. You move two workers over. Three, to yeah. three metal for can be speed or underpass. Let's just do speed. And you have to put it on the village. You don't have a choice yeah. there. Then you trade again or you produce again. You go to a rare seven worker, yeah seven workers and suddenly you have three metal for another mech so yep. now you turn that you move and you turn in that three metal and you're going to bring um all oh, nice. workers except one so now yeah. you have and and you're going to put the underpass mech on the village and move out or you you can yeah. put it here Either way, if you want some more power, some more force to take with you on the board. And at this point, you have a choice. You can go to the encounter with the second move, or you can forgo the second move and leave the character here for a factory. Let's say you take the encounter. Now, and then we've lost the last worker. No, here it is. Last produce gives you the worker star and six metal. And six metal yep. is exactly what you need for your last two mechs. So you have the worker star. And now you are ready to move out on the board. Leave a worker behind with this metal, or you can bring it with you. You can do whatever you want. But now you're ready to move out on the tunnels however you want. Yeah. But we just have to stop right here because this is your mech star and your worker star. And it was done in kind of like the only possible way it can be done efficiently. Because militant is very strong but it's super awkward in that the mech ability that you need to move with you get after you move so you have to do your move action first and then the mech comes second which makes it very difficult and now it's one that like i get frustrated with i got frustrated with a lot because i just wasn't able to play the way i i typically played saxony but this opening specifically with the worker setup works out just right to get that um six metal and eight workers on your last produce and because move is over boy when you move out something like this yeah spend three of this metal and take another mech like disarm on this tunnel suddenly you're doubled yeah. up um right the argument for taking this encounter is you might get an upgrade on it and be able to upgrade um move and then enlist because what's going to happen is if you don't get a factory card with this, you're going to be moving to deploy every other turn, and you need something to do in between. So what yeah. I do sometimes on my off turns is trade for food, trade for food again, get an enlist. And that's if I, the other option is just to bolster. And that's if I right. don't get a factory card and literally have nothing to do between movements. Um, but you should be moving around the board, gobbling up territory, forcing combats, and trying to end the game. And I think I think the earliest turn you can end with this is turn thirteen. If you manage to move out and grab combats while you do it, is that is that your memory? So I think it's turn thirteen. Typically, is the earliest. If you, you grab, end. yeah, if you grab the encounter and you got an enlist or you got an upgrade, it is likely to end in the 13 like the that the move in which you choose to leave your base and get your last mech so we've done we've done um three mechs right now the next move would be the game winning move At if you have turns which you're gonna have 20 plus coin um yeah. if you take that coin in list and you have the potential to end the game before rusviet or um on a lot of combinations even leads their base so yeah it's very powerful it is a little unrealistic to just 
be presented a victory on that turn. Um, you have to really plan it. But especially without an upgrade, it's difficult. So getting that encounter can be a huge um, benefit to your game because if it's food or oil or yeah, if it's if it's anything like an upgrade or food, it really improves your your later turns. All right. Dur um, Dur in the comments says that there's a three worker factory rush strat with militant that he loves. Dur, if you send yeah. it to me, I'll put it in the description for people to read. Um, it'd be a little awkward to try to go over it in um, from chat. Uh, well, that's the last mat. Thanks so much for joining me, um, Joy. This I've, has been a lot of fun, and I hope everyone else has enjoyed it. And if you missed part of it, I'll have the, the video up in probably four or five days. So you can catch the whole thing then on the YouTube channel. But uh, I really appreciate you taking the time on your Saturday morning to, uh, to go over this. And uh, I, I hope everyone learned a lot. Yeah, thanks for having me. It was fun. All right, man. Thanks, everybody, for watching again. And uh, enjoy, your, enjoy your Saturday.